Hi everyone and welcome to microlearnings. During this microlearning we will cover the definition and objects regarding resource management. My name is Ahmed Durmas. I am an SAP S4 Cloud Business Process Consultant with focus on warehouse management. As you can see we have divided our agenda in this microlearning into three sections. First I will give a short introduction to resource management in SAP S4 Cloud. Second, we will have a look on those most important objects and last but not least, we will discuss the overall concept of resource management. Let's start with the first point on our agenda. Resource management in SAP S1 Cloud optimizes warehouse activities and automatically assigns them to employees. In addition, it enables you to manage your warehouse resources such as a user or equipment that executes work in the warehouse. The resource is responsible for the execution of the warehouse processes. With the help of the resource management functionality, you can check the workload and utilization of a dedicated warehouse resource. There is one scope item for resource management. It is important to know that the following scope item is not active by default in SAP S1 Cloud System and without activation, you will not be able to use resource management. Our next topic is to see which objects are available for resource management. A resource represents an employee or their work equipment in the warehouse, for example, a forklift. The resource type is assigned to a resource and is, and is used to make a physical distinction between resources. The resource type is used in warehouse management to combine several resources with the same physical properties. The resource type can contain parameters, for example, which storage bins the resource can access or which handling unit type can be processed. The resource group is also assigned to a resource and is, in, is used in warehouse management to group together several resources with the same business characteristics. For example, you can create a resource group which is responsible for the inbound or outbound part. This means that resources can be assigned to warehouse orders in an optimized way. A queue represents a container or a pool in which warehouse orders to be processed are stored. Queues are used to better group warehouse orders depending on business requirements. For example, you can create a queue for inbound, outbound or internal processes. A queue type is assigned to a queue, which can be used in order to distinguish which business process should be affected. For example, if we need to execute a goods receipt process, the queue inbound, which we can define in the system, will be affected. You can also define queue determination criteria for each queue. The warehouse task can be assigned to a queue based on one or more of the following parameters such as, such as like source activity area, destination activity area, bin access type and warehouse process type. And this is the overall picture of resource management objects. After we have captured the definition and the objects of resource management, now we can have a look on the overall concept. Here you can see an example how you can set up your resource management. We have defined three different queues. Queue inbound for the inbound process, queue internal for the internal processes such as replenishment activities and queue outbound for the outbound process. Each of those queues can contain several warehouse orders and warehouse tasks. We have two resource groups one for slow moving items and one for fast moving items. The resource group slow moving items have been assigned to the resource REST1 and REST2. The resource group fast moving items have been assigned to resource REST3 and REST4. With the queue determination, we can also define which queue is going to be processed first. And this is basically the overall concept of resource management. 
Before ending this microlearning, let's recap what we have covered so far. The definition of resource management is to ensure the optimized execution of warehouse activities. Warehouse management in SAP S1 and Cloud optimizes work packages and automatically assigns them to employees. The most important objects are resource, resource group, resource type, queue and queue type. Be aware from the beginning what is really needed since these objects depend on each other. For further learnings, check out the OpenSAP website. Thank you for watching this microlearning and goodbye.